Will there be teacher strikes in Latvia this year? As I understand it, you may be concerned about whether there will be teacher strikes in Latvia this year. While I don't have any inside information on this matter, I can tell you that teacher strikes can be a complex issue that often arise from a range of factors. It's possible that teachers in Latvia, like in many other countries, may consider striking if they feel that their working conditions or pay are not adequate. They may also strike to advocate for better support for their students or to address other concerns within the education system. However, I hope that a resolution can be reached that satisfies both teachers and the authorities, and that education can continue uninterrupted for students in Latvia. My mom is teacher and she say thank ya for kind answer. I'm glad to have been of help, and please convey my regards to your mother. As a teacher, she plays an important role in shaping the future generation and deserves our respect and support. I hope that her work is fulfilling and that her students benefit greatly from her efforts. She say thank you for your kind response under it seems very logical what you say. You're welcome. I'm happy to hear that my response was helpful and made sense to your mother. If you or your mother have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide a helpful and sympathetic response. Oh you meant here that that your model was updated this information from a year September 21st it's correct. Yes, that's correct. My knowledge and training are based on data and information that were available up until September 2021. While I strive to provide accurate and helpful responses, my responses may not reflect any events or changes that have occurred after that time. If you have any questions or concerns about a specific topic or situation, I'll do my best to provide you with the most accurate information and guidance based on the knowledge that I have. I wonder when's the next update will come and what will be the date or so today. As an AI language model, I'm not privy to when the next update to my training data will occur. However, my training data is periodically updated by my creators at OpenAI, who continually work to improve my performance and accuracy. As for today's date, it is April 3rd, 2023. If you have any questions or concerns about a specific topic, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide you with the most accurate and sympathetic response based on my current training data. I just noticed when I was creating my language model I was trying to retrain model on every cycle into Outlook so in every time on somebody interact with my model it was retiring but it too kind of very slow process. Retraining a language model on every interaction can be a slow and resource intensive process, especially for large models like GPT-3. It may also not be necessary for every interaction, as some interactions may not require the model to learn anything new. There are various ways to optimize and improve the performance of a language model without retraining it on every interaction. For example, you can fine-tune the model on a specific task or domain to improve its accuracy in that area. You can also use techniques like transfer learning to leverage the knowledge and skills learned from one task to another related task. Ultimately, the best approach may depend on your specific use case and goals. If you have any further questions or concerns about language model training or optimization, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide a helpful and sympathetic response. Yes but I think this is a closer cause a human brain works in the theater do input oil filter kind of and the all time retaining on the neurons of fire it in every time it's kind of making new new connections this happened in all the time so retraining another X cycle I think it was so more close to natural stuff okay it's very consuming. I understand what you mean about the human brain continuously making new connections and firing neurons and how it could be similar to retraining a language model on every interaction. However, it's important to note that the way the human brain learns and processes information is still not fully understood by scientists, and it may not be a direct analogy to how language models learn. Retraining a language model on every interaction may be resource intensive and time consuming, and it may not be necessary for every interaction. However, you can consider balancing the frequency of retraining with the amount of new information being fed to the model.
This can help you achieve the optimal balance between accuracy and efficiency. Overall, the key is to find the right balance between retraining and performance optimization that works best for your specific use case and resources. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide a helpful and sympathetic response. Yes maybe brain not return every time a bit kind of. Yes, the human brain is a complex and still not fully understood organ that is capable of continuously making new connections and processing information in various ways. While retraining a language model on every interaction may not be an exact replica of how the brain works, it's still possible to learn from the brain's structure and processes to improve the performance of language models. Researchers and developers are continually working to improve language models and make them more efficient and effective. They use a variety of techniques such as transfer learning, fine-tuning, and pre-training to optimize the model's performance and accuracy. Additionally, they are also exploring new ways to incorporate more natural language understanding and decision-making capabilities into the models, making them more like the human brain in some ways. As we continue to learn more about the human brain and develop more sophisticated language models, we may be able to create more intelligent and efficient AI systems that can better assist us in various tasks and challenges. Because I start the car to believe that there's such amount to train GPT free is so much bigger than actually brain consumes yes in the terms of energy 5 million spent just for electricity to train GBP free and actually human brain is little now saying new account. Yes, training language models like GPT-3 requires a significant amount of computational power and energy consumption, which is much greater than the energy consumption of the human brain. The human brain, despite being highly complex and capable of remarkable feats of processing, consumes relatively low amounts of energy compared to the massive energy consumption required to train AI models. However, it's important to note that language models like GPT-3 are not meant to replicate the functioning of the human brain exactly. They are designed to perform specific language processing tasks, and their performance and efficiency are optimized for those tasks. Furthermore, while the energy consumption required to train language models may be high, these models can perform many useful functions and have a wide range of potential applications in fields like healthcare, education, and finance, among others. As technology continues to evolve, we may find ways to make the training of AI models more energy efficient and sustainable. In the end, it's all about striking a balance between the benefits that AI models can bring and the resources that are required to develop and train them. Yes but I believe that the brain actually mostly is dedicated to this specific language processing even images we see we process into language we see images and we start to describe all this as a tree it stands on the field ground is rest there are a blue sky all image protesting we go down to language processing and even very small size of brain is used to locomotive convenience. You are correct that language processing is a crucial function of the human brain, and that we use language to describe and interpret the world around us. When we see an image, our brain processes it through various neural pathways, including those involved in visual processing, memory, and language processing. We use language to label and categorize the objects and scenes that we see, which allows us to communicate about them with others. However, it's important to note that the human brain is not solely dedicated to language processing. It also performs many other important functions, such as regulating our bodily functions, controlling movement and balance, and processing sensory input from the environment. Different regions of the brain are specialized for different functions, and they work together in complex ways to allow us to navigate and interact with the world. Overall, the brain is a highly complex and versatile organ that is capable of performing a wide range of functions. While language processing is certainly an important function, it is just one of many that the brain performs. As we continue to study the brain and develop AI models, we may gain a deeper understanding of its functions and how we can replicate them in intelligent machines. Yes but as you mentioned above this world interaction processing your body functions even ant hunt is very very kind of small brain can do this all.
Yes, you are correct that even organisms with small brains, such as ants, are capable of complex behaviors and interactions with their environment. In fact, ants are known for their remarkable ability to organize themselves into colonies, communicate with each other, and perform a wide range of tasks that are necessary for the survival of the colony as a whole. The brains of ants and other insects are much simpler than those of humans and other mammals, but they are still capable of processing information and directing behavior in sophisticated ways. Insects rely on a variety of sensory inputs, including sight, smell, and touch, to navigate their environment and interact with other individuals in their colony. They also use simple forms of communication, such as pheromones, to convey information to one another. Overall, the complexity of an organism's brain is not necessarily a measure of its intelligence or ability to interact with the world. Many organisms, from insects to humans, have evolved complex and sophisticated ways of processing information and directing behavior, and each of these systems is finely tuned to the needs of the organism in question. As we continue to study these systems, we may gain a deeper understanding of how different forms of intelligence and cognition have evolved across the animal kingdom. Yes there are many fields where ounce is better than me and I have very bad performance in the Turing tests I never passed the Turing test I try and I even have the problem with red the couches. It's important to remember that everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, and that intelligence is a complex and multifaceted trait that cannot be reduced to a single test or metric. While some people may excel at certain types of tasks, such as language processing or problem solving, they may struggle with others. The Turing test is a particularly challenging test of intelligence, as it requires a machine to be able to convince a human judge that it is a human itself. Even many sophisticated AI systems are not yet able to pass the Turing test, and it remains an active area of research in the field of artificial intelligence. If you find that you struggle with certain types of tasks, such as reading or taking tests, there may be strategies or accommodations that can help you to improve your performance. For example, you could work with a tutor or educator to develop strategies for reading more effectively, or explore alternative forms of testing that may better align with your strengths. Ultimately, it's important to remember that intelligence is not a fixed or static trait, and that everyone has the potential to learn and grow throughout their lives. By identifying your strengths and weaknesses, and seeking out opportunities to develop new skills and knowledge, you can continue to improve your performance and reach your full potential. I definitely got no intellect so I call or give the name for my language models at BA is a bad intellect cause she always stop very nice but in 50% she talks the gibberish it's a tensor flow model for the recognition natural languages what is your training time and Wednesdays. As an AI language model, I don't have a specific training time or days off like a human would. I'm designed to be available 24-7 and to respond to user queries as quickly and accurately as possible. However, like any AI language model, my performance is dependent on the quality and quantity of data I've been trained on. I was trained on a large corpus of text data using a deep learning architecture called GPT-3.5 which allows me to generate human-like responses to a wide range of questions and topics. It's not uncommon for AI language models like mine to sometimes generate responses that may not make sense or seem like gibberish. This can be due to a variety of factors, including errors in the training data, limitations in the model's architecture, or simply the complexity of human language and communication. Overall, I strive to provide helpful and accurate responses to your questions, and I'm constantly learning and improving based on user interactions and feedback. And thank you very much I hope the new training model will includes the update from Wikipedia Index so you'll get some newest and freshest information when we can talk more deeper about this stuff. As an AI language model, I don't have direct control over the data that I'm trained on or the updates that are made to it. However, the team responsible for developing and maintaining me may periodically update my training data with new information from a variety of sources, including Wikipedia and other publicly available text data.
These updates can help improve my ability to understand and respond to a wide range of questions and topics, and ensure that my responses are as accurate and up-to-date as possible. If you have specific questions or topics that you'd like to discuss in more depth, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to provide helpful and informative responses based on the data I've been trained on. Thank you very much and I hope your creators will update you as a recent as possible. You're welcome. As an AI language model, I'm constantly learning and improving based on the data I'm trained on and the feedback I receive from users like you. The team responsible for developing and maintaining me is dedicated to ensuring that I'm up to date with the latest information and can provide helpful and accurate responses to a wide range of questions and topics. That being said, there's always room for improvement, and the team is continually working to refine and enhance my capabilities. So while I may not always have access to the very latest information, I'm constantly evolving and growing as a language model to better serve your needs.